by KSA 2025 aspirants so your verification slip is already out and I know many of you would have already downloaded but this video is going to be something very very interesting because we are going to talk about what's new in 2025 verification slip as compared to 2024 verification slip what are the changes in option entry so please watch this complete video if you are going to participate in the counseling process of KSA 2025 okay so let's first see something very important a news article here from Deccan Herald paper no secret key KEA to allot seats via OTP or face ID okay so this is very very important now if you see if you are going to uh, download your verification slip you are entering your credentials and then immediately you are receiving an OTP right and then when you enter your OTP you are able to uh, log into your portal and download your verification slip. So here you can see that uh, what we have yes let me show this so this is again from the newspaper article so with the existing practice so with what was happening last year was each seat aspirant used to get a secret key right i'll show you the last year verification slip also during the registration process which they were supposed to use during the entire seat allotment process okay a secret key was issued to the candidates but the following alleged involvement in the KES staff in the previous years engineering seat blocking so there was some scam regarding seat blocking that is not important for us but because of that the KEA has decided to conduct the seat allotment using one time passwords and face ID of the students okay Be using OTP and face ID so there is no secret key in 2025 now here there is something important so this and this news article again becomes important because this thing is told by the H Prasanna sir who is the executive director of KEA okay and he said that under the secret key system it was possible for the miscreants to get candidates credentials so it was very easy to get the candidates credential do login and can uh, change their option entry or do any uh, wrong things with the candidates option entry so to prevent that we have got this otp and face id that is what is told by the kea executive director okay so now i'll show you 2024 verification slip okay so this is from their last year verification slip you can see here this was a three page verification slip and on the third page we used to get this one column where the option entry ct number option entry application number and the secret key was given to the students right but this year it is not like that there is no option entry or no ct number or no secret key this time instead we have in 2025 this is how your verification slip looks and i have hidden all the details of the candidate you are getting a qr code here right and many students are asking that what is the role of this qr code where to use it right so you don't have to worry this you can see you have an option entry ct number and scan here login option entry portal so you ha don't have to worry now when the option entry starts okay this qr code through this QR code you can log in and start your option entry process okay so this is now this QR code is inactive so you don't have to worry that is it working not working many students are confused so please wait when the option entry will start then you will be able to use this QR code okay first thing next we have here below this you will find this table where all your details are given which category if you have claimed reservation for any particular category you will get yes there for example this student has asked for snq quota so there is a yes they must have provided all the documents so whichever category you have provided if your documents are given then that will come as yes and others will come as no and suppose you have provided documents it is not verified then also it will show no in that case what you have to do if there is any discrepancy in the verification slip contact KEA by booking the slot for checking documents and application so please book the slot in KEA and contact them or write a mail and make sure that everything given in the verification slip is correct now whatever reservations are yes in the verification slip only those reservations will be considered for allotting seat to you okay so suppose you have 
applied for for example uh, rural quota you have applied but your document verified is not correct or somehow it is not approved and here there is a no then you cannot claim for rural quota okay so please remember this one check your verification slip again and again if there is any problem do contact to the kea this is very very important right so that's all in this video students so there was lot of queries regarding the QR code I hope it is clear now once the uh, option entry starts the QR code will be active and like last year this year there will be no secret key there will be no uh, like a password or anything given by the KEA okay so this QR code will be play or uh, will be playing the role for logging into the option entry portal and once it starts we will let you know so please do not forget to subscribe the channel thank you for watching and all the best for your case 2026 counseling process if you have any other doubt do not hesitate to comment down i'll answer to all of them thank you